The Senate Armed Services Committee SUSC, has added $1.2 billion to the fiscal year 2018 National Defense Authorization Act NDA, for the U.S. Air Force's OAX light attack slash observation aircraft effort. The service will be conducting an experiment this summer to determine if such an aircraft would be useful to perform missions over permissive airspace in place of much more expensive and capable fourth and fifth generation fighters. The Air Force is expected to test four different aircraft types including Sierra Nevada's A-29 Super Tocano, the Hawker Beechcraft AT-6, the Textron Scorpion Jet, and the Air Tractor AT-802U during its experiment. The Senate, and particularly SUSC Chairman Senator John McCain, wants to push the Air Force into buying a fleet of roughly 300 OAX aircraft to help relieve the ever-increasing burden on the service's tactical fighter fleet and to help season younger pilots. The idea behind funding this is actually to move this program along, a Senate aide told reporters during a SUSC background brief on June 29th. The OAX is not technically an Air Force program of record yet, but the idea behind the SUSC funding line is to push the service into transforming it into a formal acquisitions program. The Air Force had intended to use its experiment this summer to gauge the utility of an OAX aircraft for combat missions over permissive environments during low-intensity conflicts before building a business case to buy such a plane. The SUSC language would bypass that process and appropriate $1.2 billion to buy 300 OAX aircraft by 2022. Those aircraft would be in addition to the Air Force fleet, bolstering the number of frontline squadrons, rather than a replacement for any other type. The A-29 can do all of the missions that they are looking for for that seasoning, Gilbert said. Does it a little slower, maybe a little bit lower than an Lockheed Martin F-22? but it allows fledgling fighter pilots to hone their skills in mission planning and operational employment so that when they get into the expensive fighters, they're more capable. Moreover, an OAX aircraft similar in concept to the A-29 or AT-6 has all of the capabilities needed to perform combat missions over permissive airspace against a low-end threat without incurring the cost of operating something like a Boeing F-15E Strike Eagle or a Lockheed Martin F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. During its experiment, the Air Force will test the prospective OAX aircraft in missions such as convoy escort, close air support, non-traditional ASR and other functions. The Air Force will also test the aircraft when they are operating from unimproved airfields near the front lines. They want to figure out what they can use this aircraft for and how versatile it will be, Gilbert said. That's combat ranging from the jungles of Latin America to the deserts and hot, high altitudes of Afghanistan, Gilbert said. The Air Force experiment is moving forward quickly. Sierra Nevada expects to start training service pilots on how to fly the A-29 starting on July 7 at Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. In contrast to previous light attack aircraft efforts, the Air Force will have its own pilots fly test missions over the near 3,200 square mile White Sands missile range that stretches across New Mexico from the Texas border. At the end of the day, it is probably a wise choice for the Senate to push the Air Force into moving forward with a formal OAX program by adding funding in the fiscal year 2018 budget.